every time I see myself about to cry, it makes me laugh. Cause I'm like, girl, you are so ugly. You are so ugly when you cry. I, I am getting a little tired of people trying to play on my top. I'm gonna be a little messy and then I'm gonna be for real with y'all, but. Hey girl, welcome back to a vlog. We just got back in town yesterday from our trip to the lake house for Mother's Day and ended up raining the rest of the time we were there. We lost the internet connection. It was a lot. It was very nice like place to stay but I'm gonna be a little bit more prepared if we go back to the boondocks ever again. So I know I cut the vlog a little short but I'm back per so I didn't get a chance to show you guys what I got for Mother's Day and so I just want to share because I really like the stuff that I got. I actually picked out some pieces for myself this year from Madrid. I have been trying to build up my jewelry collection and add a little bit more character to my everyday outfits since I don't tend to dress up but I still want to look put together and I love Madrid because they have exactly what I'm looking for. Good quality, minimalistic, luxury pieces that are affordable. I love this figure ring because it's stackable and unique, which I feel like is perfect for every occasion, whether I'm just running errands or I could dress it up for a date night by pairing it with other rings. I always struggle with finding earrings that fit my face shape and these chunky hoops are perfect for me because they're not too big so I feel like I can wear them every day. And this diamond letter bracelet is my favorite. I got a J for my boy's middle initial and it goes perfectly with all my other bracelets and creates the perfect little stack. I already have a few more pieces in my cart from Majuri right now and I would highly recommend checking them out if you're looking for affordable, luxury, and sustainable jewelry pieces. I have the QR code here on the screen that you guys can scan or the link will be in my description box. This is awkward. <laughs> This video was originally supposed to be a vlog, but I've just had a lot of things go on in the last couple of weeks, days that were, I was expecting, but some things just came up. So I just figured I would sit down and give you guys a little update because I haven't been vlogging. I don't know when I'll be back to vlogging, um, but that was something that we'll get into here in the midst of the video. I'm dressed right now. I got ready. I got ready. Okay. I have Carter and Carson's pre-k and kindergarten graduations today I don't want to start off the video by crying but I'm there's gonna be a lot of happy and sad tears in here and I just you know did my little whatever my makeup thing is that I'll be doing and I'm trying not to mess it up but that's what I got ready for I'm getting ready to head out in a little while look at the dog he's getting big right <laughs> okay um so yeah, I feel like I just want to kind of like catch you guys up on like what's been going on, how I've been feeling mentally. I'm just like not in a good headspace. Um, so that's why I haven't been vlogging uh, along with like other life factors that have just played a part. But whew, where do we start is the question. I have a little list because y'all know I get lost in the sauce and then I'd be forgetting my words and whatnot. But let's just recap a little bit first. So it was just Carmelo's birthday, then it was Mother's Day, and then we just had Carmelo's birthday party at our house. So our pool got finished, which I was really sad that you guys haven't been able to see it yet. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw little bits and pieces and sneak peeks of it. But whenever I get back to vlogging, I'm so excited to share with you guys. The pool is finally done. I got really cute backyard decor and stuff like that. So that was exciting. It was a really fun weekend. Um, my dad came to town, Aaron's dad came to town, all of our family was here. Um, but in the midst of cele celebrating Carmelo's birthday, he's gonna be all over the place, I can already tell. Um, we were also saying goodbye to Aaron. It was his last weekend home. So if you guys were watching the podcast at any point in time, then you kind of knew what was going on with Aaron and his situation. He was gone last year um, for a while and then he was able to come home and now he's gone again. It's already been really hard for me, which I guess I thought I was more prepared because of last time and mentally, I feel like it's just not something that you can prepare for. So I've just been in a very like sad, I don't wanna say depressed, but I haven't eaten in a couple of days. Um, and it's just really taken a toll on my mental just because even though now I know that there's like the end in sight, it's just a long way to go before we get to the end point. And being a mom to three boys by yourself is just really, really challenging. Um, and then also stepping up to like fill other roles um, as well, like taking care of business and providing and all of that. It's just a lot because I want to be the best I can in every aspect or whatever I do in my life, whether that's my career, whether that's motherhood, whether that's being a friend and all of that. And I just feel like with my current circumstance, I just haven't wrapped my brain around how I'm going to be able to do that. And it's just making me really sad because I think it takes a lot 
out of me basically is what I'm saying so I'm not gonna try to harp on it too too much because I also don't want it to turn into a pity party for myself I'm just trying to vent and express to you guys like kind of what I've been feeling what I've been going through and yeah I've been sad so on the midst of Aaron leaving Carter ended up with like this really bad ear infection I'm back I had to take the dog out he was getting a little too antsy but <sighs> where was I at I don't know so yeah I'm just going into this new chapter of my life which I knew it was coming, but I guess I just, I don't know. I just, it's something that you can't prepare for. And I really just have no idea how I'm going to balance <laughs> everything. Um, especially as the kids are getting older, they're more involved in more activities and things like that. And it's just a lot. It just is a lot. I know I'm going to be able to do it. I know I'm going to make it through. I just am having a hard time right now. So all I'm asking for is a little bit of patience, a little bit of grace. I know that everybody comes for the weekly vlogs, which I love filming the weekly vlogs. I mean, honestly, it doesn't make, bring me any more joy to do anything else other than vlog. I love sharing with you guys. I love talking to you guys. I love, you know, just this is my happy place when it's my happy place. But then sometimes it begin ugly and then I be feeling like I need to take a step back and just, you know, reset the boundary line. Because I tend to overshare, which is another thing that I'm like, <clears throat> I cannot be mad at people for being overly involved or invested in my life because I share it online. Like I think a lot of like content creators, we just expect that people are gonna, you know, not cross a certain line or whatever. But the truth is like everybody has their own opinions and when we share our life, it's just something that we're subject to. So I don't have to respond and address to every single little thing if I don't feel like it. Um, and I won't, but yeah. It's Mello's birthday weekend. Aaron is now away. Carter, I think that's where I was at. Carter ended up getting sick. He got another ear infection. So this is like his second one in the last like two or three months. So that's something that we're going to have to keep an eye on going forward. And then also this time he got little like pockets of fluid on the inner, what is it? What do they call it? Inner canal of his ear, which made it a little bit more severe. It's obviously very painful for him. Um, when he first started having symptoms, I thought maybe it was just swimmer ear. So he was just like, you know, on Tylenol and I was giving him ear drops and then just didn't subside. So he ended up going to the doctor and it just got a lot worse than we thought it was going to. There were some concerns there for like hearing loss and all of that, but thankfully everything is better now. It's just something that we're going to keep our eye on moving forward because we don't know how he's getting the ear infections because he's not having any respiratory con like congestion, which is usually what causes it because it drains to the ears. I know I'm talking fast, but that's because I feel like that part was just kind of, you know, a mom thing, but... <laughs> He's feeling better now. Of course, he got better right in time for his kindergarten graduation. So that's what's coming up now. I'm already, I know I'm going to be crying while I'm there because I just, I'm the ugliest crier. I can't believe that he's graduating kindergarten. And then Carson also has his pre-K ceremony. And I'm just, <laughs> I'm one of those moms. I'm one of those like cry at every milestone moms because you just don't realize how big your kids are getting it. So. you look back and you realize like they're still so little but they're just getting bigger and bigger every year but in the moment it's just hard to remember that sometimes and so <sighs> I'm having a lot of mom guilt also because I'm trying to find a balance especially with it just being me by myself to give them the best of me but then also be able to hold things down at home and like get my work done and focus on that as well and I just haven't found that yet and I feel really really sad about it because I just I miss my babies being home like before all of this like I was just a stay-at-home mom my kids went to school part-time but it was more of just like a if me and Aaron wanted to go do things that was what we kind of used for like child care if I had appointments and stuff like that since we don't really have a lot of like family that's able to help out during the day and I just miss them and I've been saying like over the past couple of years like I just want my kids to be home with me but I also find myself being frustrated with them when I have to work and then they're constantly asking me for things so it's kind of just chalking it up to like okay well would you rather them be somewhere else you can get your work done and then learn how to shut down work once they get home because I love being able to do this as my job and it's been amazing for me but at the end of the day I'm a mother okay and I don't want for my kids to also just get lost in the blur of this next season of our life and I just really want to be there for them as much as possible so that's a kind of a reason why I know I'm gonna vlog again I just don't know exactly when I'm gonna start back vlogging um just I'm too, I feel like every time I get on camera I'm just gonna be crying y'all I'm just sad I'm crying I'm frustrated I'm mad I'm a, I'm a lot of things I'm a lot of different emotions right now and I just don't want to like pour that out on everybody else um you know, so. 
every time I see myself about to cry, it makes me laugh. So I'm like, girl, you are so ugly. You are so ugly when you cry. Stop crying. But yeah, so let's switch gears onto another subject that I haven't updated you guys on in a while. The elephant in the room is the podcast. So I hope with the information I just gave, people will understand a little bit more about why the podcast kind of like stopped abruptly. Um, it really kind of stopped after we found out like when Aaron was going to be gone again and how long he's going to be gone again. And it was just more of a decision of like being able to spend that time together because I've been vlogging, but I really haven't been like on the low. I've just kind of like been soaking in the time that I had with him and the boys and stuff like that. That's kind of why I stopped there. Um, I do plan on picking it back up either myself or waiting all the way until when Aaron gets back, which I'm not going to say specifically how long he's going to be gone because there are factors that can, it can vary. So yeah, but it was never my intention or our intention for the podcast to just like abruptly be gone. Um, but it's just a life circumstance. We thought that we were going to have more time to like film and record episodes while he was here than we did because with the situation that he was in, sometimes things can be like prolonged. Um, but the podcast is something that I really enjoy doing. I would love to still do it by, not by myself, but still continue doing the podcast. I just don't know exactly what that looks like right now. And that's kind of like on my back burner, <laughs> honestly. Um, and then I do plan on when he gets back for us to like do the podcast and like bigger and better. Okay, like this was like a trial run, like, like to be movie, season last season but I really would like to do something really big in production with our podcast whenever he does come back so it's not something that's be gone forever but it's just not going to be right now so I apologize to the people who you know because I'd be hating I'd be hating when my favorite podcast episodes don't, <laughs> don't come out or like a little episode for a for a show or something you know so I definitely understand people's frustration but that's kind of where we're at with that so Along with the podcast kind of just kind of like drifting away, I've also felt myself pulling back a little bit from like my social media vlogging, as I keep saying. Um, and I don't know if it's just because of the mental space that I'm in right now, but I just, I don't know, like something about the point I'm at right now with YouTube, I just feel a lot of like burnout. Something that I've also just been like struggling with is my career like what do i want to do like obviously right now i'm a youtuber which i never thought i would be but i've also wanted to be a nurse maybe go to esthetician school and i'm just in this very like developmental or like changing period in my life of like fi figuring out you know who i am i'm waiting for my 25th birthday to see if i wake up with magical superpowers and i've figured myself out because i say the brain fully develops when you turn 25 but i am just yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I I know that right now I like doing this, but I'm like also like, okay, 5, 10, 20 years, like what do I see myself doing? Like, do I still see myself doing this? Is this what I want to do? If it's not what I want to do long term, you know, then then what? Then what's next? What's next? I don't know. Stay tuned. We're going to figure it out together because at least while I'm here, y'all are going to go on the journey with me, okay? But yeah, there's just been a lot of more negative stuff lately that pertains to like me and social media which i can see from the outside looking in some people's like perceptions or whatever but you know i know me and god knows me my family knows me and you know people who like you know know me genuinely <clears throat> see what kind of person i am so it's hard for me because i'm very very sensitive to take people's negative commentary and i know it sucks because that's what a lot of content creators focus on the most is like the negative feedback that they get um when we do get a lot of like there's so many people out there that pour into me so much and pray for me and and show me love and are just so kind to me <laughs> and i appreciate it so so much and i hate that the way that our human brain is wired is that we tend to focus on the negative more than the positive it's just sometimes hard to drown it out because even though there may be a lot people a lot of people who are way more um positive and kind there's still a, a a big amount it's not like one person you know it's still a big amount of people who are negative on a regular basis so i've just been in a season of trying to figure out what I'm doing if I still want to do this maybe I just need to like 
spark things back up as far as like doing other type of content so while i won't be vlogging you will still you can still expect to see me here on my channel this is obviously um still my job you know what i'm saying so we gotta pay the bills but i'm gonna be going back to doing a lot more like self-care content self-care motivation clean with me videos and just like trying and experimenting new things on my channel because i just feel like you know that's where I am right now. Usually I just kind of like try to play to the algorithm and stay wherever the algorithm says I am. But right now I feel like this is an opportunity for me to kind of just like try to see if like my passion for content creating is still here and like spark it back up. So yeah, that's kind of what you guys can expect. I will be back to vlogging obviously because I really do genuinely love vlogging. I just don't know exactly when that's going to be as I said for like a million times. So with that being said, and new chapters and new journeys and new this and new that. I am also thinking about moving. So if I end up moving, it will probably only be temporary. I'll probably just rent out my current house and then get an apartment or something like that, like downtown. Y'all know I've been wanting to have a high rise era so bad and I feel like I can have that right now. There's just a lot that comes with maintaining a house, the yard, we have a pool now. There's a lot of things that goes into it versus the luxury of living in an apartment where you have like valet trash, you have maintenance, you can do repairs. I think it might be a little bit easier on me if I have less to maintain and I have help if something goes wrong, needs to be broken fixed. I've moved every single year of my life since I can remember or multiple times a year so I feel like it's kind of on brand for me if I pick up and move anyways but we'll see how it goes there are some other things that are also playing a part into it um, but I'm not going to talk about them because I've learned like I can't overshare uh, too much on things that I'm planning on doing or thinking about doing until they're actually done. And then I'll re-walk you through the process after it's done. But yeah, I've just learned this year that, you know, monitoring spirits, if you know what those are. But <laughs> Last little thing that I think I need to update you guys on is wedding getting married after you get proposed to usually people start planning their wedding immediately they set a day they know when they're getting married all of that obviously our situation was a little bit different which i'm gonna be a little messy and then i'm gonna be for real with y'all but i just want to address one thing because i think a lot of people think like oh he proposed or you got engaged because he was going through this situation or whatever etc i'm not going to tell you the details of the situation but just know throughout the timeline of all of this happening i found this a long time ago we were supposed to get engaged last year before all of everything went down and we already had our trip and our flights booked our airbnb booked for puerto rico for our what was it our 11 year anniversary or something like that which we've been dating since middle school so it's a lot to unpack there too if you don't know the full story but yeah i just the girls be trying to be shady and they be trying to throw you know think they have tea but there's a lot more that goes into it so anyways but obviously we did end up getting engaged because we had the time to go to puerto rico this year moving on so now that that's out of the way because I, I am getting a little tired of people trying to play on my top i don't be clapping back or saying a lot but i'm getting a little bit tired of always being the bigger person and the nice guy so some of the things that y'all be saying oh i'm about to start Anyways, I've just decided that I'm not going to plan the wedding while Aaron is away. I do not want that to be my experience planning my wedding. I want Aaron to be able to be a part of it. I don't want my memories to be planning a wedding while he's away or, you know, not him not being able to hear to like physically interact and like look at things with me like flowers and cake tastings and all of the things like that. I just want it to all be surrounded by positive and happy memories and not attached to like some form of trauma. Um, because I feel like this is very traumatic for me, okay? I'm a big ass baby and this situation is very, 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 very hard on me. So yeah, I just want it to be good vibes, happy memories. So I'm not going to start planning it until he gets back. And then once he gets back, we will get into our wedding planning, like everything. We already know where we're getting married, like in our venue and all that stuff. Um, we just don't have the other things planned. And so I'll be focusing on getting myself prepared for the wedding just as far as like beauty maintenance and things like that anything you could think about that's like physical wedding prep i'm definitely going to be doing like micro needling botox working out getting my skin together fake like just all of the girly things that i'm excited about i'm not getting my eyelashes done anymore no more eyelash extensions okay i'm growing my lashes out growing my brows out just you know trying to flourish in my natural beauty getting my skin together 
and all of that. So I'm really excited about those things. We're, we're gonna get laser all of our, our body, so I'm gonna be hair free, okay? So yeah, that is pretty much a little recap of everything that's been going on. I really just wanted to make this video again because I'm not gonna be vlogging at least for like the next like weekend, weekish. I don't, I don't really know exactly what the timeline is, but I am just trying to give myself a little bit of downtime. The kids are on Memorial break this weekend. So that means no school Friday. That means no school Monday. We got to get through the rest of the school year, even though it's pointless for them to go back Tuesday, half day, Wednesday, half day, Thursday, half day, Friday. But you know what? We'll see if they show up. I think that's pretty much everything. I got a whole lot going on. We need to reorganize my entire house. That's another reason why I'm like, let's just move because then we can pack up. We'll get rid of our junk. We won't keep half the stuff that we don't need. Blah, blah, blah. Um, but there's another option or alternative to me moving as well. But I'm not going to get into that right now. We're just going to leave it at that. I might start going to tour some apartments and stuff. So I just wanted to give you guys an update before I just like hopped into the next vlog. And oh, we're going apartment shopping or house hunting or whatever the case may be. I'm supposed to meet with my realtor on Monday. So... Yeah, girl. We're just gonna be getting our life together. Expect self-care content, organization content. Um, if I go ghost for whatever reason on here, because every day is just really different. I don't know how I'm gonna be feeling tomorrow. Like I said, this is the first good day I've had in the last like four five days. And um, yeah, you can catch me on my Instagram group chat if if you don't see me on here or if something happens or I'm feeling some type of way or whatever. But I'm trying to push through. Okay, so send me prayers, send me positive vibes. Please, 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 please send me positive vibes, okay? Um, Because, girl, I need them. I need them real bad. Anyways, thank you guys again for watching, listening to me, vent, rant, whatever it is that I be doing. And hopefully I will see you soon.